Circling back now to the G7 summit in Japan, hosting the talks in Hiroshima holds special significance for Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, as it is his hometown. Now, the city was destroyed in an atomic bombing towards the end of the Second World War. Mr. Kishida is hoping to push forward his vision for a world without nuclear weapons. CNA's Michio Ishida meets a survivor who was still in her mother's womb when the nuclear attack happened. Hiroe Kawashimo was born in April 1946, eight months after an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. She was born with a small head and brain and physical disabilities, a condition known as A-bomb microcephaly. Hiroe's father died three days after the bombing, but her mother survived. Her guardians, who take care of her since her mother's passing in 2014, said Hiroe's survival is a miracle. Most babies born around that time did not survive. The U.S. did conduct studies since 1945 by the order of its then-president, Harry Truman, establishing the Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission to study the medical and biological effects of radiation. The general Hiroshima public was informed about A-bomb microcephaly only in 1965. It's through a local journalist. That journalist searched for survivors and formed the Kinoko Club, or the Mushroom Club. The survivor group is now led by Naomasa Hirao. There used to be 25 members. Over the years, half of them had passed on. It's not easy to gather information. Children born with atomic bomb microcephaly were not able to express themselves. The parents who survived the nuclear bombing had all passed on already. As for Hiroe, her volunteer helper, who has years of experience taking care of atomic bomb microcephaly patients, thinks she is doing well. Hiroe may not speak well, but she tries to deliver her message through drawing. Michio Ishida, CNA, Hiroshima.